Hey guys, welcome back. We're looking at federalism still, and today we're looking at cooperative federalism. Cooperative federalism. Remember we've got the cake, the dual cake federalism, right? Where we've got the national government's powers and the state under dual federalism. Well, today we're looking at cooperative federalism. And cooperative federalism is often called marbled cake. So picture that cake where you've got that yummy yellow cake and then you've got that dark chocolate all swirled into it. Okay? So it's all mixed together. Okay? That's what cooperative federalism is going to be. And so this is going to be kind of starting in the early uh, 20th century and all the way up through today. So remember, dual federalism up until then, after that is going to be cooperative federalism. And so what's going to happen with cooperative federalism is they're going to be kind of intertwined who has that power, okay? Rather than completely, you have these powers, we have these powers, and we'll just kind of go our separate ways. Cooperative federalism is going to be all kind of intertwined. And so, for example, the federal government might give Illinois, here is $4 billion to spend on education. But now, in order to get that money, the state of Illinois has to go through certain hurdles in order to get that money to, to get for their, for their schools. Okay, And so the federal government has a little bit more control, and so it's going to strengthen the federal government Okay, because they can now say, well, they don't have any say in education before this, right? Because it's not in the Constitution, therefore the states get to decide. Now, if you want this chunk of money, you're going to do these things for education. Okay, and so the, the, the federal government is going to get a lot more wrapped up into states' affairs with cooperative federalism. Okay, so marble cake, cooperative federalism, dual cake, dual federalism is that layered cake. All right? Keep them straight. Go have some cake. We'll see you next time.